Hi YouTube, 2 e 0 fnm back again with another video. Today I wanted to do a review of the Spiderpole 12 HD. Um, now this is a fantastic um, mast, fiberglass mast. I've had a DX Commander pole in the past and it worked with no issues whatsoever. Um, but obviously with the new setup um, I wanted something a little bit stronger and a bit higher. Because I think the, the DX Commander was a, a, a 10 meter. I think they do do a 12 meter. But I did a, I got a 10 meter one of those so I wanted 12 and I wanted it to be as strong as possible really because in my garden uh, as you'll see a little bit in the video uh, I've got like quite a short garden it's only 10 meters long so I've, I needed to get the height at the bottom of the garden and then across to the house so I needed as high up as I can get so 12 meters uh, did seem to work well with me uh, they do also I think an 18 meter pole and even bigger than that I think uh, and they also do a mast like a, a proper metal mast that you can buy as well now you can buy the, the clips for these spider poles like Jubilee Clip Kit uh, from Nevada. I bought my spider pole from Nevada. It was £99.95, uh, worth it, worth that all day long. And you can also buy the hose clamp kit from them as well if you wanted. But what I decided to do was just amalgamate tape every joint all the way up because it's going to stay there in its position uh, permanently. So uh, yeah, what I'll do is I'll just show you the pole as you get it from the box. And as I said, it's not a lot to it, it's just a pole, but I'll try and show you what I can. Um, and then without further ado, uh, let's begin. Right, so this is the spider pole. So really thick rubber on there. Um, I mean, this is this is really heavy. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it weighs a quite a lot. I don't know the exact weight, obviously you can look online. Uh, but there you go, 12 meters, 40 foot heavy duty fiberglass pole, spiderbeam.com. So nice. I mean, it's got really thick rubber. They look like sort of shock absorbing feet. So obviously, if you've got it on the ground, and it's it's probably going to shock absorb a little bit by the look of it. But we'll take the top off, and we'll we'll have a look at some of the elements. So there you go. You can see now. I've taken the cap off. So it's got a really thick rubber cap on it, um, and that's the very end section here. Um, if I just try and put a tape measure, it's just a bit difficult to to do it, but you can kind of get an idea. Um, you know, it's not really the best sort of scientific sort of setup here, uh, but you get an idea. It might pause the video, but you can see really, really thick. So yeah, uh, really thick, and there's all the sections. It looks a very substantial pole. Right, and that's the spider beam pole uh, in its place. So as you can see there, I've got my uh, UK antennas and fed half wave on it. It goes up 12 meters. It's got a pretty good bend on it uh, over to the house. So a uh, bit of a, a look from the side angle. So it's uh, it's uh, it's fantastic. Really, really good quality spider beam pole. So I highly recommend them. Um, they obviously do higher uh, ones than 12 meters. Um, but I'm, I'm really impressed. I just put some amalgamating tape on the joints just to stop water getting in uh, between the sections. Uh, hopefully it'll just hold up all right. Uh, and it's solid on there. These cable ties are really tight. Um, and it's fine. The, the, the fiberglass is really strong. So it'll be fine, I hope. So thank you very much for, for watching the video. I've had the spider pole up for about a week now. And I've had absolutely no issues whatsoever, uh, touch wood. Uh, it's been a fantastic pole, uh, really works well, we've had some quite high winds, it's been absolutely fine. So if you're looking for a, a proper sturdy pole, then I cannot rate uh, Spider Pole highly enough, uh, fantastic. So sorry it was a bit of a short review, There's not, as I say there's not much to it, but it, stick around with the channel. Uh, any updates on it I will obviously let you know on the channel, so if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And if you like the video, give the video a thumbs up. And if you dislike the video, give the video a thumbs down and leave a comment, you know, what pole do you use? How do you support, you know, um, do you use spider pole? Do you use DX Commander? Some people just use fishing rods, you know, whatever way. Just let me know in the comments and uh, thank you very much for watching. So I've been 2E0FNM and you've been very kind to watch 7-3.